I can and I will. Start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. With this inspirational thought, this is Miss Anupama welcoming you all on Miss Anupama's channel. My dear students, today in this session, I am going to explain you the subject max and the topic place values. Okay, so place values we are going to learn today in this session. So my dear students, look here. What is place value? So the place value is the value. Place value is the value of the digit according to its position. Position means place. Okay, position in the number. I told you in my previous video also, students, that zero to nine are the digits, and by uh, these digits we make a number. So the number, the digits in the number, and the position of that digit is called the place value okay so the in a simple term the place the place of a digit determines the value of the digit the place of the digit in the given number is the uh, is determine the value of the digit now in our fourth standard, we are going to learn four and five digit numbers because in your third standard, in your previous class, you had learned the three digit numbers. Now you are in the fourth standard, so you have to learn four and five digit numbers. Okay, so till 10,000 digits you have to learn such as units, tens, hundreds, thousand and ten thousand. This five digit values you are going to learn so this five place values you are going to learn in this uh, grade okay in this class you have to learn this okay now understood i wanted to show you one magic here okay with one magical thing i wanted to uh, explain you the place value as well as the expanded form of the numbers okay there is a magic in my hand okay now just spell the magical words gilly gilly shoe open okay yes so here this is one magical paper pieces in my hand you can see okay can you see here yes now first we'll read the number six two one five it is four digit numbers six two one five okay now six is in which place value okay which place what is the place of six it's units two is in tens one is in hundreds and five is in thousand so these place values are called the place value of the digits this is the position of this digits that is units tens hundreds and thousands and one more magic Okay, spell again the magical word. Kulja Sim Sim, expanded form. Now, 6 is in units place, means it is 6. Now, 2 is in tens place. So, 2, 0 is 10. So, 20 and uh, 1 is in hundreds place. So, it is 3 digits. So, 1, 0, 0. And 5 is in thousands place. Can you see? This is the expanded form of the numbers. So it is 5000 plus 100 plus 20 plus 6. So this is the expanded form and these are the place values of the digits. Understood? So 6 is in units. 2 is in tens. That is 20. Then... 1 is in hundreds, that is 100, 5 is in thousands, so it is 5000, okay? So it is a four digit number. One more magic, okay? Okay, now I told you in four, uh, uh, present class, that is fourth standard, you are going to learn till five digits. So here one more strip is there. Count the digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it is a five digit number, it is a five digit number so four value is unit so four into one is four now five is in tens five is in tens means it is 50 i'll open okay slowly you have to open so 
5 into 10 is 50. Here we are learning both the things expanded form also as well as the place values also. 50 into 10, uh, 5 into 10 is 50. And yes, 9 is in hundreds place. So 9 into 100 is 9 into 100 is 900. 7 is in thousands place. So 7 into 1000 is 7000. Now 3. 3 is in 10 thousands place. So it is 30,000. Okay. It is 30,000. You can see 30,000 plus 7,000 plus 900 plus 50 plus 1 is the expanded form. And the place value is units, tens, hundreds, thousand and ten thousand. So, 30,000, 7,000, 900, 50 plus 4. Okay. It is 4, not 1. It is 4. So, units place 4, tens place 50, hundreds place, hundreds place 900, then thousands place 7,000 and ten thousands place 30,000. I hope that with this strips, folding strips, you may, your concept of the expanded form and place values are clear. Got it my dear students? Okay, we'll start with next topic. Look here friends, place value, observe the place of each in the number. Okay, observe the place of uh, each in the number. Now, here one number we have taken. Okay, here we have taken one number. So now here all the digits in the number are same. Okay, now 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. It is a 5 digit number and all the numbers are same. So first we will start putting the numbers in the place values. We will start from the units. Okay, if you put from this side also no problem. But we will start from writing this side. Okay, so it is 6 is in units place. 6 is in tens place, 6 is in hundreds place, 6 is in thousands place and 6 is in ten thousands place. Okay, one thing you have to observe here that is each digit is same. Okay, here all the digits that are 666 six, six are same. But here the difference is the place values. This 6 is in units place, this 6 is in tens place. This 6 is in hundreds place, this 6 is in thousands place and this 6 is in ten thousands place. So this is the difference of the place value. There is a face value also that is not you are going to learn here. Okay, now here only concentrated on the place values. So one number, one digit, it can be put in a position of the place value and it denotes the different value okay it gives us the different place value understood now we'll see here six this six is in units place which place units place so six into one is equal to six is in units place okay now this six okay this six is same only okay like 6 and 6 but the place value is differs 6 into 10 is equal to 10 6 into 10 is equal to 60 and it is 10 okay the place value of this 6 is 10 now here this 6 so 6 into 100 is equal to 6 Hundreds, H U N D R E D S, hundreds, okay? It is hundreds. Now, here, six, this six, that is six into thousand, six into thousand is equal to six thousand, and it is thousands place. I'll write here thousands place okay it denotes the place value as thousands now this thousand is remain ten thousand is remain okay ten thousand six into ten thousand here 
by the standard form you separate one okay here 10 then 10,000 into 6 into 10,000 is 60,000 standard form here also standard form so it is 10 thousands okay the place value which we get here is 10 thousands okay so same six 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 but the difference is dip, is different okay the place values are different this six is units place so this six here six sixty six hundred six thousand and sixty thousand but this is the difference okay this is called the place value of the given numbers understood now we'll start with the exercise Students. just look here exercise and exercise says that write the place value of the underlined digit in the following numbers here for you the numbers are given okay number and these numbers are given and you have to write down the place value of the digit which is underlined i have underlined here with white color okay you can see here so this is nine 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 one means it's four digit numbers so read the number one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine so units very small we'll put here it's units tens hundreds and thousand so nine is in tens place nine into ten is equal to ninety so the place value of this nine is tens okay so it is tens the place value of this digit here is tens okay like this you have to write now this is also four digit number okay so units tens hundreds and thousands so two is in thousands place two into thousand okay is equal to two thousand here also separate two thousand okay this is thousands the place value is is thousands got it my dear students okay now here two thousand so the underlined number here is zero here the underlined number is two so we have taken only two here the underlined number is nine so we have taken only nine here tens place value here thousands place value now here it is units place value the underlined number is zero so Zero has now the fourth one is also a four digit number and units tens hundreds and thousand so the underlined digit here is eight so eight is in hundreds place value okay so eight into hundred is equal to eight hundred and eight hundred is in hundreds place value hundreds yes okay now the fifth one, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. So this is 3749 and the underlined digit here is 9. Okay, you can see here. It is 9. So 9 is in units place. So 9 into 1 is equal to 9. So 9 is in units place value. Units. Got it? Now sixth one. Yeah, it's five digit number now. 95872 so it is 27859 and here underlined digit is 7 so 7 is in 1000's place okay so 7 into 1000 is equal to 7000 okay write down 1000's place thousands place value now seventh one here seven 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 and six okay so the number is sixty seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven and the underlying digit here is seven okay so uh, leaving the uh, units tens hundred so this hundred place the uh, value of the seven is hundred so seven into 100 is equal to is equal to 700 and 700 place value is hundreds okay got it so 7 
is in hundreds place, so it is seven hundreds place value. Now we'll see the eighth one and ninth one. Okay, friends. Now look here. The eighth sum says that fifty six thousand seven hundred and eight, and the underlined digit here is five, and five is in ten thousands place. Okay, so the place value of five is ten thousands. Okay, we'll write the place value. Units, tens, hundreds. Thousand and ten thousand, so it will be easy. It's a uh, ten thousands place. Okay, so five into ten thousand equals to is equal to fifty thousand. So the place value of this number is digit is ten thousand, ten thousands. Okay, understood. Isn't it easy sums? Okay, if you little concentrate and if you practice, really you feel very easy sums. Now the last one of last sum of this exercise. Now you need tens, hundreds, thousand, and ten thousand. So here also five digit numbers, and it is thirty thousand, thirty thousand and fifty. So here the underlying digit is zero. So zero has any value? So zero into thousand is zero. So straight away you can put. Zero also, no problem with that. Okay, so my dear students, with this nine sums, I finish the exercise. I finish the explanation of this exercise, so my dear students. In next video, I'm going to come up with a new topic. Okay, do share, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my next videos. Keep solving the sums at home. Keep smiling and. Safe at home. Thank you.